The new bristle brushes has made it easy to do a lot of special effects that require the look of traditional brushes. In Times Square, there's a billboard right up here for the play Tarzan. And you can see that it's made up of rough kind of letters. Now, I have the actual file in back. This is a low-res version. So let's open up the actual file. Here we see that as we get closer, you see there's a lot more detail. And you can start to see that the letters are, in fact, very rough-looking brush strokes. And you can see little hairs and stuff sticking out all over the place, all the things that make them look like they're rough brush strokes. So let's go see how those were done. So right here, I'm going to get my paintbrush, and I'm going to choose one of the bristle brushes. I'm going to use the softest one, this little round bristle one here, which is one of my favorites, the round fan. It allows you to go in there and be very loose with this thing. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to reduce the number of bristles that are there right now, and you can see the effect that it's going to have. I'm painting with black. Let's go in here. We can see what it's doing right there. And I'm going to go in there and start increasing the length of the bristles. So they're going to be a little longer. You can see that right now, it's starting to create a whole different effect. And I'm going to give it a little spacing. And I like to test each mark as I do it. I like to do a little test there just to see. I'm going to bring down the stiffness as well, so they're not so stiff. Now you can see where it's starting to get a nice little feel to this brush. I'm going to give it a little more spacing. So there's even more air around it there. So now I'm going to go down here to the shape dynamics. In the shape dynamics, I'm going to set the angle jitter to direction. That's going to completely change the way this brush is going to start to behave. So let's go back in there and make a few more modifications, like increase that length again. Bring that up a little more. There we go. And let's play around with this angle here. So now when I start to play with it, you see that it's much rougher kind of a stroke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my background here, and I'm going to invert it. And in a layer on top of that, which is where I'm going to create my letters, I'm going to create them with white. I'm going to go in here and it's just going to create the nicest letter that I want. So I'm going to kind of fill it in. In certain spots, I'm going to fill it in just as I get it. There's the basic shape. I'm just going to go in there. I'm just dabbing over this whole area. I'll go in there and clean some of those rough areas later. And I'm going to go in there and just kind of paint this whole thing right through here, like so. There's the basics of the letter A right through there, like that. And we can go in there and just kind of roughen those guys up a little bit. And then we'll just throw a little connector right in the middle here, just like so. And I'm just constantly changing the angle of my brush. So I'm going to get little hairs showing up in different spots all through there like that. And there you can see that I've got this kind of a rough looking kind of a letter made out of some really rough brush strokes by just going in there and modifying one of the existing bristle brushes to make it behave just the way I wanted it and give me my rough brush stroke letters.